Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to learn Surah Ash-Shams, easy translation and explanation. So let's get started. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. I seek refuge in Allah from shaitan the rejected. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Rabbi zidni ilma. O Lord, increase my knowledge. Ameen. So first of all, some important points about this surah. This surah was revealed in Makkah. It has 15 ayahs. It is surah number 91. Ashams means the sun. Washamsi was Zuhaha, Wal Kamari is a Talaha, Wal Nahari is a Jalaha, Wal Laili is a Yakshaha, by the sun and its brightness, and the moon when it follows it, and by the day when it displays, and by the night when it covers it. Explanation Allah starts the surah by showing us his signs, which are present all around us. Observe the sun, the moon, the day when it's bright and shining, and the night when it is dark. We see all these signs every day. And by the sky and he who constructed it, and by the earth and he who spread it and by the soul and he who proportioned it. Explanation. In these ayahs, Allah is showing us some, of other, some other of his signs. Look at the sky, how big it is. Observe the earth and how it is beneath us. We walk on it, we run on it, its gravity keeps us from falling. Look at the humans, how perfectly and beautifully Allah created them and in proportion. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَالتَّقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا And inspired it with discernment of its wickedness and its righteousness. He has succeeded who purifies it, and he has failed who instills it. Explanation In these ayahs, Allah is telling us that he kept the sense of right and wrong in all humans. All humans has the instinct to recognize who their creator is. So the people who choose the right path of Allah will be successful and the people who follow their wishes and reject the ayahs of Allah will face punishment. Samud denied their prophets by reason of their transgression. When the most wretched of them was sent forth, and the messenger of Allah Salah said to them, Do not harm the she camel of Allah or prevent her from her drink. Explanation Allah tells us that the tribe of Thamud did not listen to Prophet Saleh when he stopped them from herding the she camel that came out of the mountain as a miracle. One wicked man among them came forward to herd the camel. فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَعَكَرُوهَا فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِزَمْبِهِمْ فَسَوَّاهَا فَلَا يَخَافُ عُقْبَاهَا But they denied him and hamstrung her. So their Lord brought down upon them destruction from their, for their sins and made it equal upon them all. Explanation Allah ends this surah by telling us that a man from Thamud came forward and killed the she-camel of Allah. For this, all the people of Thamud were destroyed by Allah because they all were involved in planning to kill that camel. So even though only one person killed the she-camel, everyone was punished because they all were involved in this plotting of, um, you know, killing that camel. So let's find out what we learned from this surah today. Allah invites us to observe his signs around us like the sun, the moon, the earth and all the humans so perfectly created by him. Everyone has a sense of right and wrong. Successful are the people who follow the path of Allah. People of the mood did not listen to Prophet Saleh and kill the she-camel. So, you know, they were destroyed by Allah. So that, guys, was the translation and explanation of Surah Ash-Shams. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Share it with your family and friends and I'll inshallah see you in the next one. Till then, be amanullah.